Hello, welcome back to uh, the show. This is the second segment of the three hour news show, See the Stories. Now, uh, we all know that physical activities, including sports, are important to maintain one's daily health because we all know um, since the pandemic, we've been uh, hearing a lot of suggestions on uh, doing sports at least 30 minutes a day yeah. to actually maintain your health. Now, uh, one's also important is when speaking of sports is uh, I want to ask you as a sport enthusiast and also pound fit instructor <laughs> yes you must have uh, had uh, times of injuries injuries now what was the first uh, step that you take uh, when you get injured during sports? that I take right yes no judging right so, I don't <laughs> no, know, no judging, no I, judging. Don't, I don't know if it's correct or not we don't but judge, I we don't do judge. It, right? <laughs> Put some ice on it. That's what they always uh, say, right? So I put ice on it. I don't know if it's if it's correct or not, but mm -hmm. it feels better because you know it's just kind of numb it for, some, yes, for a little bit. You yes. Know? Yeah. So. Well, we. What do you do? Wait a minute. <laughs> He's a sports enthusiast as well. Yes. So what do you do? I know, I know you lift heavy. So yes, I do lift heavy. So uh, usually I get injured uh, around my uh, ankle, my wrist, ah. and also uh, some, you know, some strain on the, um, on my back okay. because of you know some some deadlifts, sumo ah, deadlifts, yeah. and stuff like that. What do you do? So I would actually um, try to even move a lot. Oh, like okay. move my wrist a lot and stuff like that just to get you know uh, all the blood flowing and stuff like that so uh, speaking from experience yeah. I, I did not know any any science behind it now uh, to actually dive uh, deeper into mm -hmm. that matter yes joining us today is a person behind the achievement of athletes especially when it comes to physical fitness and treatment for injuries now this is very important <laughs> uh, uh, she is a sport medicine physician uh, please welcome dr. Anita Suryani hi doctor hello how are you very very great. Uh, Thanks good. For no, injuries. no injuries. No injuries. <laughs> Pain free injury. Free. Pain free yes, injuries. That's what we like to so, hear. So, Doc, uh, we've been talking about uh, sport injuries, but also um, this is m this might be uh, quite a a new thing for people out there, yeah. uh, for public uh, about sports medicines. Uh, so, can you explain to us what is actually sport medicine, and also what are the primary goals of sport medicine? Okay. So, generally, sports medicine is a kind of doctor who take care of medical problems because of exercise mm. and by exercise. Uh, because of because exercise? Because of exercise and, and by, by exercise. exercise. Okay. So, by exercise, actually, every type of diseases will have a higher quality of life by doing exercise. True. Okay. Like Agreed. someone with diseases, like how to how someone with heart disease mm -hmm. have to exercise. What yes. recipe of the exercise? Because exercise is medicine. Uh, have I a agree. Recipe, yeah, have yes. a recipe. So you don't have, you cannot be under prescription mm -hmm. because the advantage will be minimal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or you can be over trained because overdosis is also dangerous. Yes, yeah. true. It can have you over training. Injuries, Agreed. tight muscles, sprain and strain. Yes. That's because of sometimes because of overtraining. Uh. Okay, so that's by exercise. Mm -hmm. So it can reach low level of fitness uh -huh. society. Uh -huh. Someone with diseases like never, never exercise at yes. all. And also it can reach the average level of fitness. Yes, like community that wants to start running, cycling, yeah, true, running, okay? True. Because the, by doing exercise, of course, their quality of life will be good, their appearance, their psychological aspect. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Will be, will be happy, of like, course, because of why course. you become sports enthusiast. Yeah. yeah. Because sports giving you endorphin, the, mm -hmm. the natural morphine of your body coming out. Yeah. That's makes you happy and Agreed. makes every disease reduced, okay? Yeah. And then also, it also affects the higher fitness level of society. Athletes. 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 Okay. Okay. By doing sports, they increase their performance. Mm. They become very high achievement for the nations, like mm. my national athletes. Yeah. Okay. And also the second one, it also reduce the medical problems because of sports. Because of yeah. sports. Okay. That's it. Well, you know what? So. I want to know how do sports medicine professional diagnose injuries? Okay. 
<laughs> yeah, because uh, well, it's interesting. She's like, yeah. okay, let me tell you. That. <laughs> <laughs> because on a daily basis, we only know about okay. I have pain in my wrist. Yeah, yeah, I have yeah, Pain yeah. in my I don't know in my joints and stuff yeah, like yeah. that. But how is it uh, examining injuries yeah. and uh, uh, scientifically? Yes. Because basically, sports medicine doctor is also doctor. Yeah, true. So we diagnose injuries as a disease, like a doctor's. Oh. Okay. So that's basically three steps. First, anamnesis, uh -huh. interview with the patient. Okay. So what is the main complaint? How how they get it? Yeah. How long? How's the uh, history of the illness of yeah. the disease of the injuries? That's the first one. And the second one, physical examination. Uh -huh. We use look, feel, move. Okay. Look, look, look feel, feel, and move. move. Okay. We look to see the deformities, the swollen, yeah. bruise, everything like everything that's messy. visible. Yeah. Yeah. Visible. Yeah. And then feel. We feel that, we press it, we, we, we saw the spasm, we okay. the tight muscle, and then move. We move it, so we know that the flexibility of that area, uh -huh. like from shoulder muscle for example, yeah. you can do three main of um, axes. Uh -huh. Like first one, you can do elevation, okay. you can do abduction and adduction, yeah. and you can do rotation internal and external. Okay. Okay, that's the movement, and then you see if it's pain in any movement. Mm. Okay, that's basically, and then physical examination, uh, physical examination, and supporting. Okay. What is supporting? MRI. Oh. The, the, the machine, X-ray. The big machine. Yeah, yeah, okay. that's supporting examination. Okay. So, so based on that three big component, mm -hmm. we diagnose. Okay, this one is having this kind of injuries. Okay, oh. so what's it again? Look, Look feel, feel and move. move. That's physical. Uh, are those also the things that we need to know ourselves just for the, uh, for the first, uh, uh, first help yeah. uh, when, when uh, we experience any injuries before we go to a doctor? When you become a sports medicine doctor in one event, you cannot bring them to the hospital, right? right. Yeah. You have to diagnose in seconds, in minutes, mm -hmm. before you determine this other can go and on the match or not yeah mm -hmm. to continue yeah. or not yeah, continue yeah. or not otherwise yeah. you will just respect yeah. them okay so on spite on site sports injuries you can just like fast diagnose mm -hmm. yeah and basically it divided into two big groups okay. okay like what you have discussed before first one is strain is the tear of the muscle ligament or tendon mm. sprain is for the muscle and tendon and strain is for ligament Okay. okay. So, so strain is for uh, muscle and tendons. So when it's there, it's becoming the three uh, classification. Mm -hmm. First degree is just a muscle fiber that they have there. Yeah. The second one is half of the muscle. Okay. Half of tendon of ligament, and the third one is complete tear. Oh. That's so the painful one. Nah, that's a painful that's one. So painful. You have to grade it, grade it into the three okay. grades. Okay. Okay. The therapy is rice. rest. Ice compression elevation. Oh. We use whole therapy for the tear. Because the tear, it will the blood flow will go in there because mm -hmm. it's tear. Mm -hmm. So the ice will constrict that. Constrict oh. the blood flow. So you yeah. will not become more edem. And it has to be treated in the first five or ten minutes. First five or first ten five minutes. Or Otherwise ten minutes. it will be just swollen. Oh. Okay. 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 So when you see this you have to diagnose the strain, it's strain or not. Mm -hmm. And then if yes, yes, you become you need rice, rest. Mm -hmm. Don't use it. Yeah. Ice. Compression, elevation. Compression. Ice, ice compression, elevation. So you compress that. You put the ice, you compress, compress and it. you elevate. Oh. That's the first one. That's okay. One. The second one is cramping. Muscle tightness, muscle spasm. Mm -hmm. It's actually what happened in the gym. Yes. Sometimes. <laughs> it's, it's, yes, that's yeah. actually When your muscle is like cold. Yeah, yeah. And it's really, really tight. Oh, okay. Really tight. Sometimes when you do, um, I don't know, uh, some hip extensions. Deadlift. Deadlift. Really heavy. Mm. heavy true, heavy true. You got all the, the tightness um, on the lower back. Yes. Uh huh. So, it has to be stretching like he's, like he did. Okay. So, so, I was actually, I was actually right. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah, you're actually right. But, you have to also use the warm or hot oh. and the muscle. Oh. Muscles also oh. yeah. increase the blood flow in that. So, uh, in contrary with, with a strain... That's it. One totally. therapy is with cold. The yeah. second one is with, with hot, hot warm. Oh, with oh. heat. So, if you have a cramp and yeah. you use chloratil, the cold therapy. So, that wrong. would be a wrong thing. That would be wrong. It will make it worse. Oh. Uh, so, if you have cramps and then you use 
put something hot, hot. or warm. Yeah, yeah. if yeah. you have strained you? muscles, yeah. you, uh, you need to put eyes on yes. it. Yes, right. Okay. Okay, nice. got it. Okay. Yes. So, so you you can imagine if you become the doctors at this on site. Yeah, you have injury management and you misdiagnose. So you have to do it really quick too. Uh, yeah. Wow, that's amazing. Okay, so uh, this might not be a popular thing uh, for, for people out there Indeed. when they pursue their career. Can you tell us uh, like, like some experiences when you first started uh, pursuing a, a career in, in sports uh, medicine until the point yeah. where you are able to accompany yeah. athletes uh, in the competition such uh, Asian games? I started with my hobby. Your hobby. It was a, a hobby. Sport is also my hobby. I was I was a volleyball player of my school uh, since elementary school. Since elementary, elementary school. school, junior high school, senior high school, I was still the first champion of basketball, volleyball, and table tennis. In wow! Oh. Can we just like, give <laughs> uh, like, yeah. applause for that? Not that high level of athletes, <laughs> school level, but I love sports. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I also sports enthusiast, but it's team team one. Okay. Okay. Team person. Okay. Yeah. So I think I took sports in medicine. Residency specialist. Yeah. Oh. After I become a general practitioner, oh, okay. okay, by heart because I really want it. Okay, because you love sports. I love sports because it's not so popular, right? Sports yeah. medicine no, it's not, yeah. not yeah. so popular, and I just love it. I want to live my dreams. Mm -hmm. So after I become the residency, I apply for become the national volleyball doctor team. Because yeah. you love volleyball. And volleyball. Yeah. It's 2017. Yeah. 2017. And I was just accepted because there will be an there should be an Asian Games on 2018. That's right. So you know, I really want to watch the volleyball match <laughs> <laughs> and court since yeah. I was a senior high school. Yeah. yeah. But I had never made it yeah. Yeah. because it's to the cool. national yeah. team. And then the first time I watched the volleyball match in front of me is when I become their doctors. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, wow. I mean, that's a good idea too because you understand the game of volleyball. Yes, of course. So you yes, know what kind of injuries yes, might yes, happen yes. to the athletes. And when you make your hobby your life, you will just do it by heart, right? Yes. Like your dreams come. You won't feel like working exactly. for a second. Okay, so it's one, when I'm still a medical student, a medical okay. sports medicine resident, yeah. okay? So after I graduate, I graduated in 2020, uh -huh. the last offline graduates before True. Well, then so before yeah. it was it was, was before March. Yeah, February. February. Before February. Okay, and then March, and then it's lockdown. Mm. Yeah. And at the end of 2021, I was called by national rowing team to become their doctors in running. So wow. when when they when they went to China? No, uh, uh, Tokyo. Oh, Tokyo. Pro, oh. Pro, Tokyo Olympic. Tokyo Olympic 2020. Wow. So. Oh, we're speechless. <laughs> yeah, you need you need some luck in your life, right? yeah. True. I, but but it's really like my dream come true when yeah. I even don't know what rowing before because uh, I'm a, yeah. it's not so popular. No, and I don't know our rowing team is at the Olympic level. Yeah. So did you ever have any uh, experience on the, um, a very emergency situation mm. uh, when mm. uh, you are doing your job? <laughs> yes. Okay, so. Uh, or you go to Tokyo for Pro Olympic, uh, Thailand for Asian Rowing yeah, Championship, yeah. Sea Games, Cambodia, yeah, Vietnam, yeah. and it was China for yeah. the last Asian Games. One that I really, really remember is one of my athletes. One day before the competition and Sea Games, Vietnam. Mm -hmm. Okay. She couldn't open the bottle of milk or water because of very hard, tight muscle mm -hmm. in, ah. in, the plum, in the pump. Wait. You know, it's, it's they're, they're rowing, right? Yeah. yeah. Like canoeing. Yeah, 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 they we really have a heavy exercise mm. of, uh, of this one. And it's really tight. You even cannot move it. So how can you compete with that kind? Yeah. I would be panicking. Yeah. I'm of like, course. Doctor. Yeah. Oh, and that's <laughs> just a very good one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah with, the, with the prediction of the gold medals. Yes. Okay. So I have to need... I was a, a part of the dry needling. So it's some kind of acupuncture, but yeah. it's, the, it's the modern... Uh, West medicine, actually, yeah, the, the latest one. Ooh. So I do the dry needling, and then it's become loose. And the next day, she got the medals. Oh, oh yes! You, I'm telling you that dry needling <laughs> is so much painful. Oh my god! Yeah, so yeah, much it. painful. I can't even imagine because acupuncture alone is it hurts. So it's even uh, deeper. Yeah, it's even, even deeper. Oh. So, but but yeah, when uh, it's reached, when it reached the trigger points, yeah. so when your muscle get 
spasm. Yeah. Like like when you do the dial lift. Yeah, right. true. It's really spasm. When you reach a trigger point, it can be actually by the blunt, like the massas, mm. or by the puncture one. If mm -hmm. it's too deep, that massas cannot reach, is even more, more effective than the deep tissue massas. And it instantly <laughs> relieves. The I agree, oh but it's also painful. Yeah. <laughs> you know that. You know that. Yes. So I actually always say to my athletes, so you train not to become the healthy community. You train to become the human, superhuman. Oh. Mm. Okay, so you must be overtraining. You the, the injuries must have, must happen. Uh, okay? Yeah. So you have to know what kind of advanced recovery yeah. technique that can help you. So you know that there's a science behind it. Yes. All right. Yes. All right. You know what? We're gonna talk some more, of course. So don't go anywhere just yet. We'll be back after the break.